Angels can read God's mark, August 23rd. Everything in the world is in an unsettled state. The nations are angry, and great preparations for war are being made. Nation is plotting against nation, and kingdom against a kingdom. The great day of God is hastening greatly. But although the nations are mustering their forces for war and even for bloodshed, the command to the angel is still in force, uh, that they should hold the four winds of the earth until God's servants are sealed in their foreheads. Look at what the Word of God says in Revelation chapter 7, verse 2 and verse 3. I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted or given to hurt the earth and the sea, a saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, uh, nor the trees, until we have sealed the servants of God uh, in their foreheads. Uh, uh, let us look at uh, of the living God. Uh, understand uh, that the angel is saying, don't let loose until we place the seal, the seal of the living God. As we look at of the living God, we realize that this tells us that God has a seal. A God has a seal that he will be placing upon his chosen people. A God has a seal that he will be putting on his chosen uh, people. Uh, you might be wondering how you can receive uh, this seal and uh, know what is the mark uh, of the beast and then you know what is the seal of God and then you just ask God uh, for his uh, seal. Uh, the Bible says that God is willing uh, to place his seal on those who surrender their lives to him. Uh, why not trust in God's word uh, today? Let us ask God for wisdom, a wisdom so that we can receive gracefully the seal of God. That's the power of his word. Why not let's pray. Father in heaven, grant us the wisdom that is needed uh, so that we can receive and appreciate the seal of the living God. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.